Hi, this is Deborah McLeod with Marriage SOS. If you're facing a marriage crisis, don't panic. Keep thinking and watch this video. Five reasons why your spouse's coworker affair is the worst type of affair. Extramarital affairs are the worst, and the worst of the worst is the coworker affair. I'll give you five reasons why. Number one, they have their own world, the work world, and you'll always be an outsider. When people spend a great deal of their waking hours with someone else, they naturally forge a certain familiarity and dynamic that is unique to them. That happens in just about every workplace, and it can be a positive thing that makes it a little easier to get through the workday. However, it can also cause problems when coworkers who are on some level attracted to each other forge a familiarity and dynamic that is a little too intimate. They begin to have their own little rituals, private moments, ways to support each other, and favorite places to grab lunch. It's then that the so-called office spouse relationship develops. Many people say that they have an office wife or an office husband. Harmless term of friendship? Sure, if neither is married. If one or both are married, however, their respective spouses may not see it that way. Number two, they're always at their best. Co-workers don't just spend a lot of their waking time together, but they spend a lot of their best waking time together. They may see each other first thing in the morning, fresh-faced for the day, or dressed quite well. They are likely well-groomed with makeup that hasn't yet started to fade or run. They have energy, and since the boss is around, they're on their best behavior. They talk about interesting things over lunch. Contrast this with the image of the tired spouse arriving home at 6.30, exhausted, irritated from the drive home traffic and walking into a house with loud kids and a frazzled spouse and you can see how the fantasy of the co-worker isn't just alluring it's also very very unfair number three they are a daily source of anxiety for you while all affairs cause the betrayed spouse to worry and to wonder the workplace affair causes a daily and endless cycle of worry and wonder since one spouse has to go to work every day you don't just have to worry about bumping into the object of your spouse's affection at maybe your kid's soccer game once or twice a month. You have to worry about your spouse and this other person interacting every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's always on your mind. Are they talking right now? Is she sitting on his desk? Is he bringing her coffee? Number four, they come with a built-in justification for continuing. While some unfaithful spouses are very good at crafting justifications for continuing to see an affair partner, or at least someone they are attracted to, the workplace affair comes with its own ready-to-use justification. I have to see them. I can't quit my job. We need to pay our bills. Number five, you can never really be sure it's over. Well, it can be hard to know that any affair is truly over. Personal devices and technology make it easy to communicate in secret. That is doubly so with workplace affairs. You can insist that your spouse only communicate with the other person for work-related purposes, but since you're not there to supervise or see for yourself, you don't really know. Of course, all affairs are hurtful, confusing, stressful. All of them can cause chaos in your life and put your marriage in serious jeopardy. I'm not trying to establish some kind of hierarchy of betrayal or pain. I'm simply pointing out that workplace affairs aren't just one of the most common types of affairs, but they come with their own challenges, perhaps all of which really boil down to finances and therefore survival in a way that is quite unique. If any of this has resonated with you, I hope that you'll choose to tackle this tough issue in a smart and strategic way instead of just descending into pointless and unending arguments about it with your spouse and digging your marriage just into a deeper hole with each argument. My Marriage SOS Overcoming Infidelity for Betrayed Spouses online crash course tackles these co-worker affairs as well as emotional and physical affairs in general and offers detailed guidance that is every bit as real and tangible as the pain and confusion you are feeling. You can save your marriage even if it seems hopeless. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for marriage saving resources that you can use right now and that target your specific marriage crisis, visit marriagesos.com.